Hello beautiful people, this is Taco Mine, my name is Alas, and welcome back to another video. So of course today's video is the first video of the new season uh, and the new operation Crimson Heist in Year 6 Season 1. In my opinion, this season is going to be amazing, especially for attackers with the uh, added uh, new secondary of the Gone 6, and of course with the new operator, Flores. Um, however, this is going to be a defense breakdown guide for the Armory and Archives on the rework map border. Um, I know there's not a huge change, but I'm still going to cover every single site on this map since I think every site on this map now is actually uh, really great for defense and of course still great for the attackers to somewhat approach it in multiple different ways without feeling uh, too pressured uh, to do so. So of course without wasting any more time, let's go and jump right into this amazing rework map border. Alright, so first up we're going to be putting the mirror, black mirrors in the default spots. So of course, Armory looking in Archives, right at that doorway. And Armory looking out into the balcony. And you'll have this open, of course. And obviously you'll punch this out. Make the hole right there too. Alright, so what I really liked about... Uh, one change I really like about the room is not only the split that they made right here, or Sandwich. <coughs> sandwich was the original call for this. Uh, I don't know what you call it, I'll probably still sandwich. Um, but the fact that they made this floor hard now instead of soft is fucking amazing. Because now for the those mirror mains, the mirror players such as myself, you don't need to worry about a buck and ash um, or Sophia going underneath you and destroying that erect line of sight because they can't pop the mirror anymore, right? But over here, they can still open this portion up, but it's not enough to get the line of sight in here. And they can also pop this open too. So they can still toss a nade or toss an impact or something, but it won't be enough to destroy the actual, um, again, the the black mirror itself. So you can still sit here and play here peacefully. And who's going over reinforcements real quick is going to be uh, two on main, one facing towards archives, two at the end of the hall to prevent those little spawn peaks. Of course, two on fountain to prevent any crossfires. And back in here, we're going to be using our last three reinforcements and archives. So one for that window, and then the two right here, because Mute will be playing this room, uh, pretty much locking down archives while uh, someone else holds down this line of sight on window and doorway. <clears throat> so obviously Mira's position is going to be playing on here. And again, just because a small change made her life so much easier to defend it. Um, again, only thing you really need to worry about in the beginning of the round is probably staring at this window. Did they change this? They probably did. Okay, never mind, they did. But yeah, you can pop this open, you can hold this. It's really easy to get a easy kill off the bat. And of course, C4 is used to deny plant or deny uh, wall breach. Okay, Kahi's job is gonna be very simple as course. Um, you don't need to put in any fancy spot because once more, this is all hard. Um, so it's not reachable at all, but you know, of course, three claw up there. Um, and I guess you can put it up on here to trick the uh, the Cali if they ever so try to bring one. Um, that's also why we're bringing a mute here today. Like what I said in the beginning is why we're bringing a mute is because of Flores and Flores. I'm gonna see he's gonna be the new Thatcher. Um, Cali is skill base and and Flores is really easy to fucking play as and use. I'm just gonna shoot this fan. We're gonna toss that claw, our second and last claw, in this corner to of course protect this Mira from getting Habana or Ace open. Um, and this last wall will be, of course, important as this is a direct line of sight from outside all the way into here. And you can get a line of sight way in the back of, uh, of those lockers and armory. So, of course, we want to deny that um, if, we, if we still possibly can. Um, of course, two claws go there. As for where Kai is going to be playing at, he's going to be anchoring, of course. He's going to be watching this mirror, looking into archives. Again, pay attention to this window and to this doorway and for those of you that haven't really recognized or got to play the map yet they removed this entire ac unit which is crazy to me because as attackers you would always just sit behind here and safely be close enough to refrag or kill uh, and, and and plant you know what i mean or cover the plant um now they just completely remove this which is again it feels weird because then you go way back here and it's just such a weird feeling because you still need to worry about what this window and this run out just a little bit even though this kind of blocks off for the most part it's really weird as an attacker anyways focusing back on defense 
Um, not much to say about Kahid. Again, he plays here. Watch out for the hallway. A hallway pushes or rushes. Um, of course, go off your cam, uh, comms because Jaeger will be playing in security and Mute will be playing archives watching uh, Fountain and uh, offices. So it can uh, rely on your teammates for all that information. Alright, so just a heads up for you guys. You guys are going to see a lot of Mute plays, or at least me bringing a lot of uh, Mute in my strats now. Literally because of Flores. Mute and Mozzie you're going to see a little bit more of because, again, they're both great operators. They both provide a lot. Um... But literally because of Flores, he's going to be having a high presence. I can already tell this season, so that's that. Anyways, uh, again, for my mute mains out there, I rarely bring Mew on all of my defense strats. But you want to line them up correctly, and again, if you need help, or if you don't play Mew that much, there's a red radius that shows and tells, so you don't need to smack it literally right next to the doorway. You can give a little bit of space, smack it right underneath in the mirror, and it will still cover the entire doorway. So for no, uh, no intel, no drones can go in and are out of sight. Also, it does matter on what side of the doorway you place them on. It's kind of like Capkin traps, how like you would rather place it right here instead of right here. Because if anybody's coming up the stairs, the first thing you're going to see is right there. Same thing with the Mew Jammer. If you place it down in this left corner instead of the right corner, the first thing you're going to see is that Jammer. They're going to shoot it, and you got no nothing pretty much used out of that Jammer. And they can either walk in sight or drone out if they want to. So by putting on the right side of this corner, you deny intel, and if they would just want to shoot it, they have to swing out and expose themselves to the doorway in order to do so. So again, but placement really does matter in this game. As for a second, Mew Gem is going to go on the left side since this wall will not be reinforced, and they can wallbang it. Once again, it does not have to be hugging. <clears throat> it does not have to be hugging the frame of the doorway. You can give it a few, uh, few inches. And for this last jammer, since there's not going to be a claw on this wall, you're going to use this uh, meat jammer for this wall. I understand that there's only one way they can come through now. From the drone is either from this doorway, or they can just toss the drone through this window, and they can get some mental comms. Um, but of course, you're going to have Kaid playing here, mute playing in the room, and uh, Maestro came up top. So you're going to have a lot of utility to at least destroy or get rid of that drone as soon as it enters the room. Once again, Mute is going to be playing this room. Yes, I know it's a really big room. Uh, there's not a lot of cover. Uh, even playing right here won't cover you from that. But that, again, that's what all the reinforcements are for. Um, again, let people come to you while playing as Mute. You have a shotgun. Always run shotgun, please, on Mute. Um, again, I know it's open spaces and you, you think the MPK would be nice to bring. But don't get over aggressive with him. He's really nice. He has a C4. He's the best shotgun in the game. Uh, let people come to you and you are guaranteed to kill. Especially right here in this in your kill range is a six shot. They swing out point blank range Just pop them like that easy kills That's pretty much all from you Once again with the Jaeger give me placing them down at default spots one on the mirror One on entry place up top since me and German be up there And one in corner. That's like an ADS. You don't have to place it there. Honestly, you're probably not gonna lot of, get a lot of utility coming through here, anyways. Not a lot of attackers like the toss flashbangs or whatnot through there. So again, you can just place it on this wall next to Mew Jammer just to help mute out a little bit. Uh, again, barbed wire. You can probably place it up right here or down this kind of front of the doorway, kind of just to use it as a bait for mute. So that if they try to melee it or knife it and they get rid of the barbed wire, you can just swing out and just and just do his uh, pop shotty. Barbed wire, again, you can place it here, but since there's already going to be a Maestro Kim up here and a mirror right here, I would place the barbed wire on the main doorway, coming into armory. Just because there's not going to be a lot of utility besides the Mew Jammer there. And because of Jaeger and your job is to roam and to deny early access for entry fraggers on the attacking side, you're going to be locking down security room and break room. Um, so instead of just watching for this door entrance and this window and the other door entrance, you also have to keep an eye out for this balcony right here. Because they can get access from back stairs along from this window right here. So it's, it's just another line of sight that you need to be aware of for whoever's playing or fragging out as Jaeger. And of course your best fragger should be playing this role. Alright, so for Maestro, first camera is going to be going on this little bookshelf. Now this camera is fucking phenomenal amazing because you have a bulletproof uh, kind of shield right here on the right side. 
just a little bit on entry. And of course, if the mirror dies or if anyone dies in this room, uh, fail to deny the plant. My chicken can just sit here and just zap the motherfucker that is planting. And I feel like they made it easier than ever to get up up here. So of course, use the back of this computer. Okay. Easy as that. And then of course you can smack your Meister Cam like you uh, used to in the good old days for the fucking rework. Obviously you get the same advantages. Um, you see doorway, you can see a little bit on the, on the left side of the doorway and offices. Uh, main doorway leading to our armory window and doorway leading outside. And again, you can deny default plant spot. And you can fuck up anyone on that window. Uh, this one is kind of more surveillance and play. They're pretty much both for surveillance until uh, the plant goes down. Uh, of course, if there's any shield ops, that's uh, even better to get usage out of it. As for Maestro is going to be anchoring down, he's going to be assisting with Mira a little bit. He's going to be way back here in army lockers, anchoring down here. Or he can be in the same room with Mew to kind of assist on him in case he's getting too overwhelmed. Um, but again, pretty much, you're always going to have an extra teammate next to you, whether Maestro is playing in this room or he's playing in the other room. Honestly, it's, it's probably going to be best with if uh, my should plays over here, since the placement is going to be Mira, Kahid, Mew, and Jaeger. And last one is Maestro, of course. Another one over there will be too many people on a site and archives, and Mira will be left alone to kind of deal with this, uh, apart from, of course, the utility she's given to kind of uh, make her life easier. So I'll definitely have uh, the Maestro playing back here. Of course, be careful for those Ash, Buck, or Sophia mains that will come underneath and rip up the floor. Smart players do that, uh, depending on your level of play. If you're a plat player or gold one, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so just be aware for that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for today. I hope everybody enjoyed today's breakdown of, of course, Army and Archives on the reworked map border. Um, I know there's essentially basically not a lot changed on that specific site. Um, you play it how you usually would. It's just slightly different in terms of Archives is much bigger and there's more room. And, uh, of course, split and sandwich and armory is uh, slightly different to where there's more cover in the way, uh, making more angles and, uh, and whatnot. Um, but, of course, small rework. I'm going to still do the entire map. Uh, I know customs and, of course, bathroom. I'm actually going to I'm literally going to cover every single site. So look forward to that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And you guys haven't already, please leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, I love you guys. See you guys next time. Peace out.